Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we have got an interesting case of a dewclaw that's growing sideways. The real question is, what makes this happen? Stick around, find out. Now, because dew claws are made of the same material as the normal hoof is, I can trim this the same way. So I'm gonna take my rotoclip wheel and I'm gonna shorten this claw up and get it to its normal length. Now, you might be asking, why does this thing grow sideways? Well, if you haven't noticed yet, right at the base of this dew claw is a patch of digital dermatitis. Now, the reason it makes it grow sideways like that is because that digital dermatitis is affecting that horn production at that uh, at that hairline and it's causing that trauma is causing an acceleration of horn growth on that side Therefore because that wall or that side of the hoof is growing faster than that inside We get that hook and it's what makes it grow in an almost horizontal fashion uh, Laying flat against that foot instead of coming out like it normally would Now that we've got it cleaned up a little bit, you can see a little bit better what's going on. We've actually got a hole in the right in the center of that dew claw, as well as along that edge. Now, because this is affecting the horn growth, I'm gonna treat this just like I would if it were on the, the normal sole of the foot. I'm gonna trim away all the loose horn from around this lesion, right along the hairline on the top side, as well as trimming along the hole uh, on the inside as well, because there's dermatitis in there too. So I gotta pair this away get it all cleaned up so my uh, treatment can do what it needs to do. Dew claws do have a quick or corium in the middle, so I still gotta be careful when I'm trimming away here, but I don't have to worry about getting it too thin like I would on the sole of the foot, so I can really trim this down quite a ways, make sure I really expose these, uh, these lesions really well. Here you can see we've got it all trimmed back to its normal size now and we've got all those margins thinned out and cleaned up so that my copper sulfate treatment can kill those bacteria that's causing this digital dermatitis. A nice loose wrap is all it takes to keep this treatment in place and this girl should be good as new. That's going to do it for today guys. Thanks for watching and we will see you all on the next one.